Grant Community High School. I'm Mr. Kennedy, one of the Dean of Students. In this next video, we're going to be showing you and telling you about the do's and don'ts to be successful here at Grant High School. Please pay attention and follow along as we go through some very important details. Here at Grant High School, it's very important to attend school on a daily basis. The Lake County Truancy Office defines truancy by missing 5% of the school year. That equals approximately nine school days the entire year. So to be successful in Grant, come to class on time and be in school. Also, failure to attend school and be excused will result in tier consequences. So please be on time and attend school on a daily basis and you'll be successful here at Grant. Dean Kennedy here again, here to talk to you about Grant Community High School being a closed campus, which means you're not allowed to leave and then come back. If you get sick or you need to leave for an emergency, you must go through the attendance office to receive a blue pass. Also, there will be activity buses that run after school, so if you have to stay after to get extra help on your homework, or get tutored in another academic area, there will be an activity bus that will leave at 4.30. Hi. Hi there. I'm from DoorDash. I have a delivery for a student named Jane Doe. Oh, students aren't supposed to get deliveries from outside companies. Oh, what about Uber Eats? No, only parents. Only parents are allowed to drop off food for kids? Yep, sorry. I'll have to take that and give it to the deans. Okay. <laughs> Hey Bulldogs, I'm here to talk to you about alcohol, tobacco, vaping, and dab pens. Do you know what they have in common? It's not allowed on campus. If found in possession of any of those items mentioned, it could result in police contact, which could be either teen court or a ticket, could result in some form of out-of-school suspension, or could result in a behavior intervention. So please, keep our campus safe here at Grant Community High School and let's keep that stuff out of our schools. Hi there, Dean Kennedy again. Just want to remind you, upon coming onto campus your first day, you should be receiving an ID card that looks like this. Please keep this with you at all times. Also, once you get a copy of your ID, take out your phone, take a picture of it, this way you'll have it in case you lose it. If you lose an ID, you can always pick one up in the attendance office. Finally, your ID is going to be needed to get on the bus, in the cafeteria, in academic labs, and other events that are taking place after school. So make sure to have your ID ready. Hey everybody, Dean Anderson here with Dean Kennedy. I uh, just want to talk to you guys about the dress code. The basic principle of the dress code is that you must be wearing clothes that are worn in a way that covers your genitals, breasts, and buttocks with an opaque fabric. Real straightforward. With that, you cannot wear hoodies with the hood up, such as Dean Kennedy here. But guess what? You are allowed to wear hats. Here you go, bud. Oh, great. Thanks, Dean Anderson. You're welcome. Have a great day, everybody. Hi there, Dean Kennedy again. Just want to let you know when you step foot on campus, you could be subject to a search for reasonable suspicion. Areas that could be searched could be your locker, your backpack, or even your automobile. Hey Bulldogs, just want to let you know that cell phone use within the classroom is at the teacher's discretion. And also, cell phone use throughout the building is prohibited anywhere privacy is expected. Like the locker room. Or the bathroom. Hey Bulldogs, I want to talk to you about sexting. Sexting is considered when anyone sends lewd or indecent photos to another person. That could result in a felony or even can be considered child pornography. Please make sure to keep it clean as these photos could resurface and hurt you later in life when you go looking for a job. 
They also could resurface while you're in college or somewhere else. As the once great Officer Melzuski used to say, if you take a tube of toothpaste and you empty it out, you can't put the toothpaste back in. That's what happens when you put photographs that are indecent out there on the social media. Hi there Bulldogs, Dean Kennedy again. Just want to let you know that anything you put on social media can be captured by others. So if you make someone feel uncomfortable by a negative post you make, there could be consequences here at Grand High School. So please make sure to keep it read on social media and be positive. All right, here at Grand High School, I wanna let you know that we practice something called expect respect. And that means as a situation arises, such as bullying, harassment, sexual harassment, intimidation, those things are all handled with something by the whole school, which we call expect respect. That means at first instance, you tell this person to stop. If they don't stop, you walk away from the situation. And if they don't stop after you walk away, you go tell somebody. So it's stop, walk, talk. You'll see those signs all throughout the building. If that doesn't end the situation, you can always come to our office or you can go directly to the district complaint manager for bullying and harassment, Mr. Principal Schmidt. Hey Bulldogs, I want to talk to you about fighting. Fighting is not allowed on campus. That includes any type of verbal altercation or a physical altercation. Any of those two could result in a police contact or not a school suspension and even a behavior intervention. So please remember to keep it right on campus and be positive. Hi there, Dean Kennedy again. Just want to talk to you about the pandemic protocol. As times are changing, so are the protocol rules and regulations. So please, let's keep up to date with the Illinois Department of Health. And when the changes are made, we still need to follow the rules. And that may include wearing a mask above the nose. We don't know, but we'll follow the Illinois Department of Health. Hey Bulldogs, on behalf of the three deans, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Blank, and myself, I want to thank you for taking this time to learn the ins and outs of GCHS. And remember, if you have any questions, please email us, stop down to our office, even just to say hello. So once again, keep it red, and you'll have a very successful year here at Grant.